Chess Buddies, how's it going? Today I've got episode 3 of our Human vs AI chess event, for this match, I've picked Wesley So, a remarkably fortunate chess player with 3 US chess champion titles and victories in the Filipino championship, get ready for a tactical feast as I sacrifice my rook, let's jump into this, Wesley started the game with e4, we have e5 knight f3 knight c6 and the popular Rui Lopez, black can go with a6 or knight f6, but I decided to play f5, Janish Gambit. White have several moves to consider, let's discuss about it one by one, if white captures on f5 then play e4 to ask the knight where you want to go, the knight is a foreigner so he has to return his country, queen g5 attacks this, g3 queen takes f5 and this position is very challenging for white, white have light square weaknesses and after he captured the knight bishop e6 will ruin this diagonal along with his brother, so in this position, if white plays queen e2 to pin the pawn. Play queen e7 to unpin it, knight g1 knight to d4, attacking to the pieces, queen c4 queen e5, if white play a4 in order to protect the bishop from the queen and knight, a6 will kill your bishop, so if your opponent moves back his bishop then b5 will bombard both of the pieces, hope you learned a brand new chess opening, now give me a like. Spread love everywhere you go, let no one ever come to you without leaving happier, back to our game. White have two other options which I will discuss in another video, Wesley played d3, take take knight f6, castle and 1300 rated players might think of capturing the pawn which will gonna destroy you because your pieces are undeveloped, queen e2 knight f6, bishop captured captured, knight takes pawn queen e7 and rook e8. White is crushing the e-file with missile army so if you dare to move out the bishop to play castle, queen f6 will meet with your bishop, Bishop g6 can't possible because knight d3 can break up your queen and king great love story, so, bishop e6, two moves later white played queen e3 to target this, rook here queen takes a7, g6 queen check and white played game changer move knight c5, leading into a checkmate, the game will be over, so back to the position, I played bishop c5, Wesley said. Let me ensure you can't able to play castle, I have no problem with it because I can defeat you without playing castle, I am not talking about I will bonkalad or something like Magnus Carlsen's worst opening, I played h6 to play g5 rook f8 to attack in kingside, h3 g5 and after some moves later white want to involve his bishop on e3, go on, let me play g4, the pawn challenges the knight, saying, come on dude, let's have a boxing match, are you brave or more like a mouse? The knight can't escape so after captured captured, rook b1 bishop here knight d2, rook f8 and if white plays any move under 2400 lo, let's say b4, then after take take knight e7, bishop e2 knight g6 b5 and knight f4, look how I rotate my knight, the earth rotates to the sun and I rotate my knight like a boss, few moves later we will bring out our queen on f6 and on g7, knight h4 then we will sacrifice our knight on f2, well, the knight aims to showcase its hidden talent to the world, although most people's hidden talents are always hidden, despite this, white captures the knight on f7, sacrifice your another piece on g7, knight takes g2 rook takes f7, and how can you stop checkmate? If you didn't take vaccine then covid19 will kill you and if you under 3800 elo rated player then I can defeat you more than 1 trillion times, back to the position, Wesley is only 2800, so he played bishop d5, but he will be finished in my hands, slowly but surely, queen g6, integrating b26air missile, Russia army tanks and 1 million military army with ak-47 gun to destroy white, here white could play knight h4, queen h5, and white should have gone with queen g3. Although his problems will not solve as I can capture the f2 pawn which is attacked by two more pieces, so if you play g3, I will capture on f2, attacking to the queen so after takes takes, king here bishop captured queen captured, queen e2 king h1 rook f1, queen blocks and you will lose your queen, that's your problem, you think too much about your problems and get stuck in overthinking, break free from that cycle, embrace challenges as opportunities to learn, and rise above blunders. Keep moving forward with a positive mindset, and success will follow, we have before, take take queen h5, making 2400 elo strategy to checkmate you, if you capture the knight, then after takes takes, checkmate will follow, so back to the position we have knight e3 to attack on the knight, 
so I have to capture trh knight, take and I sacrificed my rook, because after takes queen h2, king f1 queen h1, king ups queen takes check, king e1 queen takes f3, queen e2 queen h1 check. The king shouldn't go on d2 as the rook can disturb at your king, knight can make 1000 of problems, so queen f1 queen h4 check, king ups knight f6, a3 knight e7, bishop captured rook a7 bishop a6 and I captured the bishop, because if you capture the rook, then after queen f2, king can't move back due to bishop f4, king d3 can't possible because of queen f1 then you will lose your love, so king c3 knight takes check, and after some moves later, white will face checkmate with knight c6 followed by queen c4. King a4 queen takes queen and checkmate, game over. Life is not a problem to be solved, but a reality to be experienced, so back to the position, we have queen g2, knight takes check king slides rook check, king b2 queen e1 to play queen c3, so he had to play bishop d2, sacrificing a piece and he resigned the game, because it will be a checkmate in just few moves, he played a great and amazing game with me, but I am an AI, better than human intelligence, in a few moves, white gets checkmated by knight before knight to c4. So wish you all the best thanks for watching subscribe for more bye bye take care see you soon.